What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Welcome to West Point, Tennessee. Now often I do some things that I even feel are strange. A lot of you guys are like, how do you get in to so much stuff? So much unique stuff. Well, I might have taught myself today. See, we're up here to go deer hunting and to do some really, really big catfish catfishing. But today I met a boy named Austin, a grown man, not a boy guy named Austin he's friends with my friend Glenn who we're up here hunting with he said you got to come out to my dad's place and see what we have and I'm here to tell you you would never expect it we are in the middle of nowhere and I'm about to give you the tour of this awesome place Hi. oh he bit me <laughs> oh he's hungry now this is just a little baby goat it's what's right over here that just caught my attention well hello is this what all these playgrounds are for? Yes. What is your name again? Kevin. Kevin? Clanton. Clanton. Y'all, this is Austin. Clanton? Majins. Yep. Is this your dad? It yes. is. Dang, you don't look old enough for that to be your boy. <laughs> or you're looking old with the beard. I yes. think it's me being older. <laughs> hey, buddy. How are you? I wish Luke was here. Babe, you can't take it home with you. It looks like me. What is that racket? I don't even know, folks. Look at this house, though. <laughs> Luke would have died and gone to heaven. We even got a real baby. <laughs> oh, hi, real baby. <laughs> Look at the monkeys. <laughs> this one looks like Luke. Hey, buddy. Rooster. Which one's Rooster? <laughs> Rooster, I've heard strange stories about you. There's, There's a bird? A bird here too. Yeah, we got Where's it at? In yonder. So these monkeys, while y'all are in here watching TV, just run around and jump? Awesome. Oh, my, Luke, would, Luke would literally Luke never would leave. Die. My son Luke is obsessed with birds now. Gabriel, where are your bathroom? Literally. <laughs> And there's, is this the same monkey that was, yeah, that's the same one that was outside. Hello. Uh oh, say hi. Babe, this looks like the bird that we saw a while down yeah. there with the red wing, under its yes, wing. Yes, it does exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach the ground in this swing. Stop it. What a strange creature. That's so cool. Glenn, we've seen it all now. What's up? I'll have to let you in. We got everything locked. I locked myself in the room back there the other night and had to call the night. So what are you doing? Let me see your hand. I left the keys on the kitchen table and locked the room. Luke would never leave. You guys, let me explain to you. My son, Luke Lawson Arrington, would never leave this place, ever. There's a parrot, monkeys, and over there, there's some huge pigs we're gonna show you in a minute. He'd be in there with the parrots. So he has these parakeets, and he has a backpack for them. And he, we'll go around, we'll go to like Lowe's, we'll go to Publix, and he'll just have them on his back, and around. He'll put them in a shopping cart. Oh my Lord. Oh, that's so good. Come here, buddy. One came out and Hello. grabbed his arm and then went back in. Come here. That one's like, yo, it's too cold out there. Imagine just sleeping and a bunch of monkeys come and pounce on you. <laughs> that would be so much fun. I knew he'd probably go to her part. <laughs> Why did the girls get all the attention? Hi, buddy. Is she gonna come on this side? Hi. She's try to sit oh my head. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a YouTube channel where you show a bunch of this? We do, it's Our Life Adventures also. I think it's 8992, something like that. But Our Life Adventures, yes. Oh my goodness, this is the coolest thing ever. I mean, I never thought in a million years when we woke up this morning we'd be we'd around be. monkeys. What up, Rooster? Whoop I heard you're the Whoop jealous em. type. Whoop em. Rooster. They can be. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Just slap him. Rooster, can I just hold her one? No. <laughs> Do. Oh my God. This is nuts. 
Go ahead, you've introduced me to some strange cats, but this might top it right here. <laughs> we got monkeys. Well, do y'all want to, do you want to film them out here, like doing their thing? Yeah. We'll come out here then. You'll just let them we'll run out the there? Of everybody's truck, yeah. first of all. Hey, they're good. nosy about trucks. Huh? All right, well, let's go. Let's just get it done. Release the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Show off. Did you get this kind of treatment as a child? Well, heck no. That's what I was just thinking. Once you turn a grandpa, you forget about your kids and it's all about now the grandkids. Yeah. When you first have kids, you don't have money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they ain't wanting to play. They're all obsessed with you guys. Act like you're gonna chase him and he'll get playing real good. <laughs> Let me chase. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's got me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it all now. Uh, release the hound. Come on, bear. Oh, this is a crazy one off of that movie. What? <laughs> is he supposed to be growling? Yeah. She said baby talk. What are you doing, little bear? What are you doing? You're so precious. What's the movie with the, the museum that? movie? The Night at the Museum. Oh yeah, Night at the Museum. And Pirates of the oh, Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. His little face looks like a little human baby face. Like Eddie Monster is what everybody says. Bear. Come here, bear. Come here, bear. Get up here, buddy. Look at this. Bear. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? what are you doing? Hold him, Jake. Call him. Rooster. Rooster's being me. Not mean, but he's being uh he jealous. He's being jealous. Yeah. Keep it PG, Rooster. Look, <laughs> he won't get down. I promise this video is not all about monkeys. Even though to me the monkeys are the best part of the video. We're now gonna show you these big old ginormous pot belly pigs and from here I can see one has some shanks hanging out of his mouth. What's up Mr. Pig? Look at the shanks. What is this little thing? It's got waddles. Well I bet you they got eggs in here. You girls been laying in the eggs? Yep there's eggs. Hey 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 easy. Peacocks. Oh. This one bites? He needs to run. Son, you're too fat. Go, g give us a trot. All right, y'all. A lot has happened since the last time you saw us playing with monkeys. What happened this morning? We're deer hunting. How many deer did you see? I saw probably 30 deer this morning. One big one? One big one. I hope to see him again. He was far away. He was like 500 yards out. I saw him for like 15 seconds. I guarantee you I saw 30. But somebody sitting over here to my left did more than just see one. Jake. We saw a lot, but we shot one. Or I, we shot one. Are you sure Mr. Jeremiah is not pulling your leg? Are you sure it fell? See, I watched it tumble down the hill. Or not tumble down the hill, but like... <laughs> you guys, this was Mr. Jeremiah and his son, Lathan. And we're here at Mr. Jeremiah's personal farm. Him and Jake hunted this morning. His son went with... What'd you go with? Your paw in law Yeah. His paw in law And they filmed it. Jeremiah and Jake said they did some filming. So we're going to take it right back to what they filmed. And then we're going to go recover the deer because they haven't even recovered it yet. We'll see y'all up the hill.
You smoked him, brother. Hey, what is up? What do you think about this Tennessee deer hunting? It's nice. The first ever deer with a muzzle loader to do. That's the stand they were sitting in right there. So now we're going to try to find this deer. We don't have to try so hard. Are you as curious as Jake? Okay. Me too. I'm so ready. All right. All right, let's let's see what you buck slayers have done. We shot him from a tree stand. What'd y'all see? Two deer this morning, didn't you say? No, we said twenty. Twenty deer this morning. I'm glad he came out as early as he did because like a few minutes after that the sun comes up right in front of that tree tree. Like so the barn tree. Right Some scrapes. Dang. He didn't go very far, did he? Yeah, they did. He got right here and he stopped. And I couldn't see his rack, so I haven't even seen his rack yet. Dang, he didn't go very far. I'm sorry. I thought we were going to Dang, Jake, you done got spoiled. Uh-oh, he's stiff. Mr. Jeremiah is going to have to help you bend his neck. I thought when he turned this corner, he was going to be all the way on the bottom of this mountain. <laughs> Goodness. Jake, you're spoiled rotten. That's a beautiful deer right there. Oh yeah. You said you wanted to come shoot a deer with horns. You did that. Did just that. Look how big his neck is. Big body deer. We sound like a pack of turkeys walking I through know, the leaves. So he shot the deer about two hours ago. They heard him pile up down the hill, but they didn't see him. So we wanted to give him the correct amount of time and he didn't go five yards. You Thank you very much, Mr. Jeremiah. Oh, it's our pleasure. He's beautiful. It's fun taking a kid hunting, ain't it? Oh, it's, it, it is. We, we do that a lot here. We, uh, last year, I think we had six kids, I think, something like that, that shot their first deer here. Yeah, I mean, it's so it's, it's a fun, special place where, you know, there's plenty of deer like this. You know, good, mature deer that need to be harvested, and we, we shoot some good ones, too. This oh, yeah. is a fine deer for uh, what we like to do here. You well, got that right. I don't know if what I want to eat for dinner more tonight, this deer or one of your beef cows. Uh, we'll eat them all. <laughs> We're going to show them your cows when we get down the hill. Is he heavy? Yeah. <laughs> that is a giant body deer. <laughs> Good job, boys. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, come on. Jake, your deer's so big it took five men to lift that joker up. <laughs> Ooh. He's so stiff right now, but he's a big body. Listen, folks, it's Dad's turn. I'm pulling the trigger tonight. It might be on a nanny goat, but I'm pulling the trigger. Y'all see those cows right there? These are Mr. Jeremiah's. That's five of about 500. And let me tell you something, those jokers right there taste amazing. Maybe not that one, cause he's a big bull, but I gotta pet him. I gotta see if he'll let me pet him. You, no? No, never mind. He said he didn't want me to pet him. That's a big old bull. He runs a serious cattle operation here in Tennessee, a big one. I just shot a stud. Tennessee buck. <laughs> it's opening day and muzzleloader season. I had does feeding out in the field. 
It's getting kind of late in the afternoon. I had a doe walking straight towards me. She freaks out and blows looking away from me. I'm like, what the heck? Sure enough, two bucks come out. First one, decent average size buck. Next one's a freaking giant. Um, it was a long poke with this muzzle loader. It was like 180 yards. I aimed at his backbone. So, um, I know I hit him good. He buckled. Um, once the smoke cleared, he's like trying to run, trying to get away. I'm freaking out. He's like trying to run. Um, I saw blood, a lot of blood, and he went into the CRP. So, just a minute, I'm about to go check for some blood. Good news, I found him, he didn't go far. And I tell you what, that's the best feeling in the whole wide world right there. Oh my goodness, I owe so much thanks to Gabe right now. He um, has allowed me to travel with him and, and get the opportunity at shooting these deer and I appreciate it so stinking much. Thank you very much, babe. So I'm gonna show y'all the deer if you're ready to tag along. Here we go. I shot him about right here, so this is where he went. There he is. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Tennessee buck. I am extremely thankful and blessed right now. Can't even, can't even describe it. Good morning, y'all. We are awake and fixing to get to work. Gabe is in the tree stand right now, so we're really hoping that he it's a big one today. <sighs> I just pulled that cooler. I'm exhausted. That was difficult. Jake is awake. What's up? What's up? Um, Gabe gutted the deer last night. And we had it hanging throughout the night. It got cold enough out here where it was fine. So Jake and I are going to quickly get this quartered up. Because we got a day full of fishing ahead. We're going to try out some lakes around here, maybe some rivers, maybe some ponds. We're going to look for some smallmouth, largemouth, maybe yeah. some trout. We're going to have a heck of a day. Look at that. We got our back strap. We got our hind legs. We got our front legs. In this cooler here is two deer, two bucks that we are gonna tenderloin make jerky out of make roast out of make burger out of everything everything we love deer meat good job jake we got it done we have finally arrived to our fishing destination with this beautiful lake we're at laurel hill lake here on the outskirts of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Uh, we got our deer cleaned up. We went and ate some delicious lunch. And then we went to two bait shops that were closed. And we finally had to go back to Walmart. And we picked out some baits that we think are gonna work. Let's show you all this really fast. See our stash, Jake, what did we pick out? All right, guys, so we just, we just got here. I looked up, I did some research. I heard that jigs did really good. So this is my pile. <laughs> this is Crystal's pile, all of us. So I knew we get dirt. Dang, you were Actually, modest. Yeah, no. All right. I, uh, since we're fishing some creeks, we're gonna fish some creeks. I got two of these little spinners, keeping it really simple. Now usually, like, as some of y'all know, I'm like the Florida bass master, but I don't know about I don't know about the I don't know about Tennessee, but I heard jigs work, so I got some craw jigs, and sh should I, I I would pick some different stuff if we were going to like Okeechobee or something, but yeah. I just got a five pack of shad. I'm going really simple. Crystal got some worms, not a bad pick. She got jerk bait, got a little jerk bait. 
I really like beetle spins too. I think we might catch some crappie. We'll probably catch some bluegill. Um, some worm hooks. I'm looking since we're walking the bank, there are a lot of logs. So I'm going to mainly be throwing these craw jigs. I've never caught a bass on them, but I heard they're good. All right. So that's what I'm going to use. And it is a absolutely beautiful day out here today. We almost got this lake all to ourselves. We're going to try to, I mean, I wish we had a boat, but we don't. So we got to make do. We're just going to walk the bank until we get tired or until we make it back around to the truck. We'll see what happens first. Um, looks like the water's a little bit low right now. Oh, oh my God. Oh, uh oh. Now what? Uh. Look at that. I did not expect it to be that yeah. soft. I think if you keep going, it gets better. Well, on another note, we switch baits. I'm on the shad. She's on the jerk bait now. She was using the worm. I was using that crawl until I got it stuck on a tree. And now I'm about to get flooded with mud over here. I'm not. If I jump far enough, I could maybe I get. Think that was the issue. Is when I jumped, all the force went straight down. Here, you can see all these raccoon traps. Okay, okay. Maybe if I like. Oh God, no, no one. I think you should. Maybe I could throw rocks and make a little trail. I'm gonna just, just go right there. Jump right here. That's that's hard. Who? All right, guys. You're about to see massive failure. Oh crap! Well, guys, I'm officially water deep in my extra tufts, my Everglades fishing company socks are flooded with water. I'm stuck. My reel's a little muddy. All right, I'm, I'm out. I'm gonna rinse this reel off real quick. I mean, look at these tracks, little raccoon tracks. I'm gonna rinse my reel in this creek off and we'll pick y'all up when we catch some fish or when we see something cool. Come on, Jake. I did not bring an extra pair of clothes, but I brought an extra pair of boots. I legitimately think I'm in sea. <laughs> Try to get out. Like a sinkhole. Try to get out. <laughs> I'm getting deeper and deeper. I thought we were taking a shortcut, but this ain't a shortcut. This has been a mess. Oh my gosh. You're having to like, what can I do? You want me to pull you out? I don't know. <laughs> do we need to call the fire department? Let's <laughs> call a helicopter. Nice bass. We weren't filming because this, this was the last place I expected to catch one. Here. Look, Look how shallow it is right here. He must I have chased it, it right up. On there. He hit it a few times, but I thought it was just a log because I cast it right on it. There's a bunch of shad though. I mean, not the biggest fish, but it's a pretty one. That's Look your first Tennessee bass. First Tennessee bass. Let's get a release on them. Fortunately, there's. Here, I'll lay it right here so the reel is on the rock. Do not get that thing muddy. <clears throat> that is a nice reel. All right, perfect. Good you one. weren't expecting that at all. Right here, perfectly deep enough. Go back and forth until he's ready. He's ready right now. Dang, look at him. See that little thing sticking up? Right there? Yep. That's, That's where he cast it. Nice job. There's a lot of shad. Good job. Thank you. Y'all check that out. I know the lighting's not perfect, but that is about a dozen shellless lobster tails. Marinated them in a little bit of zesty Italian. I didn't have a ton of time because I'm still hunting. The funny thing is, is I have no idea what Crystal and Jake filmed. Not a clue, because I've been in a tree all day trying to harvest me a whitetail. I got to thinking about it. Life's so crazy these days because like this morning we hunted and I said, well, why don't we give this place a break and go hunt somewhere else? And then I came home for just a little while, took a little bit of a short nap and I got to thinking about it. I'm like, we've only hunted one day. I used to hunt for two weeks at a time straight and never even picked my bow up. And here we are like, oh my gosh, running out of time. We might not get one and we've hunted one day. So we got plenty of time. 
We are gonna go do some catfishing though, and that is gonna speed up the part of this hunt. But when I leave here, I'm going to Missouri to go hunting. I'm gonna cook these for about, I'd say two minutes on each side. Ooh, but can y'all smell it? I gotta give huge credits to Mr. Jake Everett Arrington right here. You did probably your best job ever catching lobsters this year, didn't you? Probably. In the deepest water that you ever caught them. Go ahead and put them on that plate. Yeah. Now let, now let you sh let me introduce y'all to my Tennessee family. This is the one and only, Mr. Lane. How come you didn't tell me where you were going hunting today? Why you do me that away for? This is Lane's dad. He even, he gar hold me tonight, and his son gar hold me tonight. You guys, I'm hunting over here in a place they call Linville, seeing deer everywhere. I even missed a giant. Seeing deer everywhere, and they're like, here, we got this new stand for you. I saw nothing tonight. A whole bunch of nothing. All right, who's ready to eat? Just make sure you don't give Lane one. <laughs> Bring it over here. So we got, oh, this is Glenn's beautiful wife, Kelly. We got some melted butter, some okra and tomato gravy. There's Beachy behind us. She's actually downloading some footage. Mr. Tom, Mr. Kevin. Kevin, you sound just like Brad Gibson's father-in-law. When you speak, if, if, oh man. Brad Gibson G3 Outfitters has a stepdad. It sounds identical to him. Some white rice, some soup, and we're ready to dig in. You hungry? Yeah, pretty hungry for some. Did you, did you ruin your new boots today? I didn't ruin them. No, I used, I was in my extra tufts. I wasn't in my... Well, those are new too. They're only one week old. Well, yeah, I can rinse them off of the hose. Have you done that yet? No, they're in the tailgate. Oh, but yeah, I let's not wash off a $75 pair of boots. ruin the Everglades Fishing Company socks. They're ruined? They're, they're done. Dang. You might have to get a fresh one. All right, y'all dig in. Come on, we got fresh lobster and everything to go with it. Mr. Glenn, y'all, he didn't gar hole me. We went to a new spot and we just didn't see anything. No big deal, that's deer hunting. I went, a lo I went weeks without seeing deer. That's it for this video though. You've seen us eat lobsters hundreds of times. We're gonna start a new one tomorrow. We're gonna go get up and go deer hunting. The time changed tonight, so no, last night. We got up at four o'clock this morning. We'll see y'all in the next one.